Also, natural selection is supposed to mean survival of the fittest. But what if <clears throat> someone, nobody in particular, you know, had their eyes dilated and was leaving when they knocked over the fish tank in the waiting room? You did it. Anyway, if exactly half of them died because I di they didn't get them in the water, was it survival of the fittest? <laughs> no, it was survival of the luckiest. Yeah, well, <clears throat> here's a picture of two mutant flies and a normal one. Which one do you think is the most likely to survive in a particular environment? None of them. When I hit him with my fly swatter. All right, all right, all right. The normal one would probably survive best. But it depends on the environment, right? Yeah. So evolution that turns a simpler organism into a fruit fly relies on mutants becoming better able to survive as new genetic information is added and then surviving to pass their genes onward. Mutants are usually worse off since most mutations are harmful and natural selection actually cleanses the population by killing the less fit mutants. This might help keep the most effective traits within a population. So the real world works exactly opposite of what evolution requires. Bingo.